Hey, welcome back. And if it's your first time here, just welcome. Today, I wanna to talk about this little sucker. This is a GoPro Hero 8. And it's a brilliant camera for blogging, for vlogging, and for action. But it's got its issues. Now, over the last couple of months, I've been building a travel kit, and the heart of it is this. This is my Razorblade Stealth 13 2019, and it's a brilliant high-end computer. But the GoPro won't mount using the standard cable, and it's not just the razor blade that's the problem. If you look online, you'll see people with high-end HP, Dell, Asus, Lenovo, all of those computers are all having issues mounting their GoPros to the certain extent that some people have actually sent their cameras back and got a refund. But I'm gonna show you how to fix it. So let me just show you what the issue is. So open the door, plug in the USB-C lead, and then the camera plugs into the USB socket. And you hear the familiar sound. The camera says that it's connected to the USB, but you can't find it on the desktop. So I'll just unplug that. So there's a couple of ways around this. You can either take out the micro SD card, which is probably the faffiest way of doing anything. But then my computer doesn't have a micro USB connector. It also doesn't have an SD card uh, connector. So I had to buy a little adapter to take that. So you can either take that out, put it in an adapter, but that is way more faff than I'm prepared to put up with. But you can connect this up to the USB connectors on here, plug them in and you'll hear the sound. And actually what you'll find is the camera will mount, but it will look like a different device. It says MTP connected, device connected, but it will see it. You can open it up and you can drag all your files into your folders where you can then use it with your video editing software. But it's still a bit of a faff if your camera has an SD card reader. You don't really need one of these. So if we just take all that off again. The next thing I found is a, stand, is a Thunderbolt to Thunderbolt cable. Now that's got the USB-C connectors, but this is actually a Thunderbolt cable. And what you do is you connect that to the USB-C socket, and then this to the USB-C socket and the camera will mount, but it will probably mount again as an MTP device. So this is what you need to do to get around that. Now I've already done it, but I'll show you how I go about doing it. You open up your settings. So you open device manager and find portable devices. Now on mine, you'll see that that now says Hero Black, but what it might say on yours is MTP device. Now what you wanna do is right click and uninstall that device, then remove the GoPro, and then connect the GoPro back up again. It will then load the driver for the GoPro and it should then recognize it as a GoPro Hero 8 or a GoPro MTP device. If you've got the GoPro Quick app installed on your device, it'll open that up automatically and you can import your files into that or you can drag them into whichever folder you want and use them in your own software. Now we come on to problem number two, and this is more of a Windows problem than anything else. If you're using a Mac and you've got the latest operating system, you should have no problem using all the files on here. But if you're shooting in slow-mo on your GoPro, it will record the files in what's known as H.265 or HEVC format. Now, for some reason, Windows, in their infinite wisdom, decided not to include that codec in their operating system for Windows 10. So, let's just jump back into the computer. What you may find is when you open your folder and you'll get this message to come up. So to play this video, you need a new codec. And Microsoft decided to charge you, uh, if you're in the States, I think it's a dollar, and if you're in the UK, it's 79 pence. If you're anywhere else in the world, it will tell you what the equivalent price to a dollar is, and it will charge you for it if you go ahead and do that. You don't need to because there is a free version. 
and I'll put the link in the description down below. But basically, if you go on to your web browser, if you type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then bit.ly forward slash HEVC free. Hit return and that takes you through to the Microsoft website and you can see that it's actually the Microsoft website so it's not a dodgy version of anything. As you can see this one here is completely free. Not one dollar, not 79 pence, nothing like that. It's a free version of exactly the same bit of software. So hit get and then that will take you through to the Microsoft store. Now you may need to log in if you're not already logged in or you may need to create an account. Hit install. That will take a few moments to install that patch into your system and then you can click launch and then close everything down and then I've just got a piece of slow-mo video here on the desktop double click that to open it and then what you'll probably have to do on the Microsoft software is click on the little uh, pencil icon which is edit and then create slow motion video click on that and then you can set where you want the video to be and how quick and or how slow you want it to be I'll just quickly just create a little random piece here pull up the cursor as to where I want it to start hit play and then you'll see nice slow-mo video where it wouldn't play before and that is how you get your GoPro to link to your high-end computer and to get your slow-mo footage playing across Windows 10 so if you like this video hit me a like smash the subscribe button and ring the bell if you want to see when my next videos are coming up and I do videos on photography tutorials gear reviews and these days it seems IT issues. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.